As morning breaks and our minds wrestle with the demands of the day and its many trying circumstances, let us receive the strength from our Heavenly Father's Word as we renew our minds in its assurances and truths. We can face many things in our lives that can overwhelm us, and we as members of the household of faith oftentimes will reach out to God for help and comfort. But there are those who refute this because they question the existence of God when there is discomfort and devastation of global crises. Holy Scripture gives an account where Daniel, along with three Hebrew boys, needed an answer to the unreasonable request made by Nebuchadnezzar concerning his dream and, during the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. For many of us, this speedy answer from God is what we would all like. But there are moments when we, like Daniel, face a crisis and the answer is delayed. In his case, the angel Gabriel offered the explanation. However, the prince of the kingdom of Persia resisted me for 21 days. But behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, because I had been detained there with the kings of Persia. The reality is that there are always the deeper inner workings of the spiritual realm that we are not privy to that are beyond our control. But even in this, we can take the ultimate comfort in the fact that we serve the Lord of hosts, who commands his angels to minister to our needs, even if it seems that our response is somewhat delayed. But there are those times when, despite our prayer, our Heavenly Father answers with a no, despite our earnest fasting and prayer. King David experienced this when his son died after he interceded for seven days. It is in his response that I find most instructive when he reasoned, while the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept, for I thought, who knows, Adonai might be gracious to me and let the child live. We must recognize that our prayers to God cannot wring his hand into doing our request. We must still honor and abide by His sovereign will. This does not mean that we resign ourselves to whatever life brings and don't pray, because our God gave the example of the persistent widow and the unjust judge who granted her request to show that it is necessary to pray always and not to give up. Let us in full faith accept and recognize that our Lord is sovereign. And even if there is a possibility that his response can be a no for our request, let us commit ourselves to always pray to him because he is truly able to do above all that we can ask or think. So our Heavenly Father, today we lift our hands to you and we thank you for life indeed. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy, which is new for us every day. And we thank you that you look after our needs because you know what we want. You know our frailties and you know when we make mistakes, but you still extend your grace to us. Father, we ask that you forgive us our sins, even as we forgive those who trespass against us. Bless us and keep us right now in these times. Protect us from harm and danger and help us to always look to your hand for grace and mercy. Bless our country, but bless our family and our friends and keep us safe. These things we ask humbly in the name of Jesus and for his sake. Amen. Dear friends, let us fully commit our hearts to living both faithfully and in faith as we walk through this journey of life. Let us endeavor not to be anxious, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let our requests be made known to God in everything. Let our hearts be filled with the assurance that He always has our best interests at heart, regardless of the answer He gives. And let us persevere in prayer 
as we walk in His grace and peace in all of our circumstances today.